Hello friends and welcome back to the Okie Hippie Farm Channel where for the last week we've been preparing for this weather that you're seeing right now. It's kind of weird because last week we had uh, 70 and 80 degree weather which was great for the construction process and the tasks that we had to get done but Friday night was forecasted to get down in the 20s and so the race was on essentially to make sure that the cabin was winterized. I'm way behind on videos guys, but I wanted to go ahead and fast forward to this one because we've really worked hard on this and uh, given all the attention and the news about uh, the cold weather front that's come through, I just wanted to, to show you kind of what we've done to prepare. We had three main tasks to complete. Number one, install the vapor barrier under the cabin. Number two, install the hardy plank skirting around the cabin and finally construct a well house. Here I am cutting studs for the skirting. Here's a look at what I've been working on. is to put those pieces of two by four that are pressure treated, put those down in the ground three or four inches, and then uh, bring those vertical to the rim joist on the back side, and then we'll screw it into the uh, that rim joist. What we'll do is get some hardy plank, and those two by fours will kind of be the support for the hardy plank that we run horizontal as uh, the skirting. We did a few of these yesterday. I'll show you what they look like when uh, completed. So that's what we're trying to do. And then the hardy plank will go horizontal on that all the way up to provide uh, weatherproofing for the crawl space. I spent way too much time on this first stud, but the time wasting was short lived because soon the brains of the operation showed up to keep things on track. We were able to get all of these done today. Here on this corner I've got four because I'm going to put a uh, access door in there. That's where most of the plumbing is at. With the skirting studs completed, we now began installation of the double bubble vapor barrier. Once we had it stretched out where we needed it, it was time to begin stapling it to the joist 
of the sub four. And that brings us to our hippie word of the day, which is blister. And I define as something that occurs when one has to use a stapler thousands of times in a short period. Let's speed this up a bit as we moved over to another section of the crawl space to complete this task. With the vapor barrier fully installed, it was time to begin on the skirting. Here I am cutting the hardy plank to size before the usual suspects arrive to help. Now, I think you got to go down now, Irv. No, that's perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Now that the skirting was complete, we moved on to the well house. Here I am digging holes for the posts and eventually setting them in concrete. Surprisingly, this task took me only about one hour to complete, making up for some of our unplanned delays earlier in the day with the skirting. This all began with marking the locations of the posts and making sure that they were square. For a refresher on how to do this, check out my earlier video entitled, Marking the Pier Locations. It has turned extremely cold here in uh, Oklahoma and it's about uh, in the low 40 degrees and um, about 16, 17 mile an hour winds out of the north. Tonight it's supposed to get down in the 20s. So we've had a mud, mad rush trying to get everything winterized. Today I'm mainly going to be trying to complete the well house. We started this yesterday, got the posts up but this is pretty important so that way I can have water for the next week or so. It's actually gonna be below freezing for the next week, at least in the, in the nights. So let's see what we can do here today. After using a pickaxe to dig a small trench, the usual suspects arrived yet again and we were off trying to complete this race. 
At this point, we had spent five days on the task in today's video and the winter weather was going to arrive that night. Needless to say, we were feeling the pressure. Here's the finished well house. We're still planning to put a door on it. What we did was we just kind of cut out that area for now and we screwed it in so I can get in there if I need to. I just have to unscrew everything. Um, but for now, we were in such a rush to get it done and uh, you know we, we got done essentially uh, 30 minutes before it started sleeting on Friday night. So that's what we did for now. But overall, it uh, you know it turned out pretty good. We got the sloped roof. We used uh, smart siding, and here at the bottom, I put some two by eights in there, pressure treated, of course, and that's what the smart siding is sitting on. I can't begin to explain how relieved we were to get this all completed. We didn't have a minute to spare all week, and Friday night brought both a feeling of major accomplishment as well as absolute exhaustion. In fact, we took the next four days off to recuperate. So all you hippies and hippie wannabes out there, be sure to stay tuned for the next video where I'll go back in time where we'll continue on the Arch Cabin build. See you then.